Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a photo slideshow in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a photo slideshow in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported three demo images in the editor. The duration of all these three images is 5 seconds and they are lined one after the other in the timeline. Now the first thing which we will do is we will create duplicates of all these three images. So click on this option which is select all and this will select all the three images in the timeline. Press Ctrl C to copy and then press Ctrl V to paste. As you can see in the top layer duplicates have been created from this original three images. So at the moment, let me just turn off the visibility of this top layer by clicking on this eye icon, which is present on the extreme left. Perfect. Now double click on the first image, which is present at the bottom. We will blur this image and we will add a zoom effect. So go to video effects, go to filters, select box blur, and then click on OK. Now look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window. You will find this blur levels option where currently the value is 1. So change the value from 1 to 15 inside the blur levels option and press enter. Now let's go to video effects once again. Go to transforms, select zoom and then click on OK. Now look inside the zoom settings which is present inside the properties window. Right here you will find this levels option where currently the value is 100%. So first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that we have two values 100 semicolon 100. And now change the values from 100 semicolon 100 to 100 semicolon 110. And then press enter. Perfect. Now we will repeat the process for the remaining two images which is present at the bottom. So double click on this second image which is present at the bottom. Go to video effects. Go to filters. Select box blur. And then click on OK. Look inside the box blur effect settings. Inside the blur levels option 15 is already selected. So that's fine. You don't need to make any other change. Now go to video effects, go to transforms, select zoom and then click on OK. Look inside the zoom settings, inside the levels option, the values are already set to 100 semicolon 110. So that's fine as well. Let's go back to the main editing timeline. And now double click on this third image which is present at the bottom. Go to video effects, go to filters, select box blur and then click on OK. Look inside the box blur effect settings, inside the blur levels, value is already set to 15 so that's fine. And now once again go to video effects, go to transforms, select zoom and then click on OK. Look inside the zoom settings, inside the levels option, values are already set to 100 semicolon 110. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline and let's turn on the visibility of the top layer. So click on this eye icon once again and this will turn on the visibility of the top layer. Now what you need to do is select the first image which is present at the top. Select this image and we will resize this image like this we will resize this image and let's center align this image perfect now double click on this first image which is present at the top and what we will do is we will add a border around this image so go to video effects go to transparency select borders and then click on OK. Now look inside the border settings which is present inside the properties window. 
inside the mode option currently transparent is selected so change this from transparent to solid now border size is currently set to 8 pixels so increase it to 15 pixels and let's also change the border color to white so let me just select white and then click on OK perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline and let me just resize my second and third image as well so let me just select my first image and let me just note down the coordinates so left is 177 500 top is 100 so left is 177 500 top is 100 and width is 1565 and height is 880 width is 1565 and height is 880 perfect now double click on this second image which is present at the top we will add a border go to video effects go to transparency select borders and then click on ok so the parameters are already set so that's fine border size is 15 mode is solid color is white perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline let's let's resize our third image so let me just select this image the left coordinate was 177.500 and 100 so let me just write 177.500 inside the left coordinate and 100 inside the top coordinate width was I think 1565 and height was 880 so width is 1565 and height is 880 perfect now double click on this third image which is present at the top go to video effects go to transparency select borders and then click on ok if you look inside the border settings all the parameters are already set mode is set to solid border size is 15 color is white perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline and double click on the first image which is present at the top now what we will do is we will add two zoom effect so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok decrease the duration of the zoom effect to one second so let me just write 0 1 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the values are 100 semicolon 110 so change the values from 100 semicolon 110 to 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter and now go to video effects once again go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok let me just set the duration of this second zoom effect to one second so let me just write 0 1 inside the duration option and press enter now place the second zoom effect right at the end now look inside the zoom settings levels option the values inside the levels option is set to 0 semicolon 100 so change the values from 0 semicolon 100 to 100 semicolon 0 and then press enter perfect
just a second let me just right click on this first zoom effect go to order and select one layer up perfect and so now if I just quickly play the video for you perfect we just need to repeat the process double click on this second image which is present at the top and now go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on OK. Decrease the duration of the zoom effect to one second. So write 0, 1. Write 0, 1. Inside the duration option and press enter. Look inside the zoom settings, inside the levels. Currently the values are 100 semicolon 0. So write the values 0 semicolon 100. And now what I can do is I can simply copy paste this zoom effect. So press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Now place this second zoom effect right at the end. Like this. And now look inside the zoom settings. Inside the levels option, currently the values are 0, semicolon, 100. So let me just change the values to 100, semicolon, 0. And then press enter. And finally, let me just double click on this third, zoo, uh, third image which is present at the top. And let me just, let me just press control V. So this will paste the zoom effect which I had copied earlier. Um, inside the zoom settings, levels, inside the levels option, values are already set to 0, semicolon, 100. So now let me just quickly click on Control V once again. And let me just place this second zoom effect right at the end, like this. And now look inside the zoom settings. Change the values inside the levels option from 0 semicolon 100 to 100 semicolon 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And so finally, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. So this is how you can create a photo slideshow in VSCC free video editor. What is happening is on the background, this same image is there, but it is blurred and it is zooming in and on the front side you're seeing this main image main photo which is kind which is kind of zooming in and then zooming out perfect so this is how you can create a photo slideshow in vstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching